Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, Windows ADK 10 Insider Preview version 15021. Uh, I've downloaded it and installed it on my Windows 10 Enterprise machine, and a couple of cool things on this build. So uh, when you install it, you're gonna get this nice little select the features, right? And a couple of things that I've noticed are these three right here. They give you the user experience virtualization template generator. They give you an at V sequencer as well as an at V auto sequencer, which is awesome. They also added additional scenarios within the ICD designer, which is cool. And for the Windows PE, they only, for what I've seen so far, they added one little cool feature. So I'm going to show you guys all the cool stuff. So uh, first things first, the only additional thing that I've seen within the Windows PE is this guy, the gaming. Uh, which is interesting because not too long ago they released uh, the Windows Insider build, I believe 15019 or 15020 or 25. They added an additional uh, feature within the settings app that dealt with only gaming. So now another thing that they upgraded is the Windows ICD. Uh, they gave you additional scenarios for you to customize your uh, Windows image, which is cool. A couple of things that I noticed off the bat is the HoloLens devices provision and also the Surface Hub. I haven't used the Windows ICD for a long time. I think the only time that I used it is when I did a video for you guys. So that's a long time. If you guys do want me to uh, touch base on this or do more videos dealing with the Windows ICD thing, just let me know at the bottom. I'm gonna try my hardest to push more videos dealing with this thing. Uh, for this, the user experience virtualization, I'm excited about this. Most likely I'm going to be doing videos on this and showing you guys how to use uh, this utility so you can use it for your deployment. And they also gave you the, you know, Microsoft application virtualization sequencer, which is, this is cool. I like this. Uh, you can actually create a virtual application package and then kind of slipstream it through your Windows 10 deployment. So this is pretty cool. I like this. Uh, so those are the only things that I've seen so far with the Windows 10 ADK Insider Preview version 15021. Ugh, that's a mouthful. Uh, I'm, I'm still playing around with it. A couple of things that I'm definitely going to try my hardest to do for you guys is uh, do a couple of videos with the Microsoft uh, AV sequencer. Uh, touch base on the user experience virtualization generator. And oh, I know you guys definitely want me to touch base on this. Uh, see if we can play around with the ICD and uh, make it work for your deployment environment. Hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, quick update on the Windows 10 ADK Insider Preview version 15021. If you guys have been testing this out and found something else, let me know at the very bottom. Uh, I'm still poking around, playing around with all the, the new settings and stuff. So far, those are the only things that I've seen that caught my interest. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for future videos dealing with this. Again, if you guys want me to touch base on anything, let me know at the bottom and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.